the Eucharistic miracle of Alkmaar, Netherlands, in the year 1429. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. John 6:56. Since the Middle Ages, the city of Alkmaar has attracted many pilgrims who come to venerate the holy blood of our Lord, treasured in the Cathedral of St. Lawrence, Netherlands. Surrounded by beaches, forests, and polders, Alkmaar is incredibly rich in cultural heritage. It is located in the province of modern-day Holland in the Netherlands, and has St. Lawrence as its patron. In the 14th century, war broke out between the ruling nobilities, and the bourgeois in the county of Holland. It was called the Hoex and Cabal Joss War, in which Father Fokert was involved. He was a former soldier, and had killed some citizens of Huon during the violent clash. He had intentionally hidden his military background, and was ordained a young priest without obtaining the necessary dispensation. On May 1, 1429, he was celebrating his first Mass in the Cathedral of St. Lawrence accompanied by two concelebrants, Father Volpert Schuld, pastor of Alkmaar, and Jacobus, the pastor of Skirl. It is said that he was remorseful for his conduct, and was very nervous. After the communion rite, Father Fokert accidentally knocked the chalice, which splattered three drops of consecrated wine onto his chasuble. Although white wine was used for consecration, Father Fokert was baffled to see three thick drops of red blood appear in place of the white wine. The wine had miraculously transformed into actual human blood on his garment. After celebrating Holy Mass, he attempted to remove the traces of blood. When he couldn't remove the marks, he panicked and cut off the hem of the chasuble which was stained with blood. He then torched and burned the piece, where the consecrated wine had fallen. After burning the spotted area, and stitching up the chasuble, the blood stains reappeared, much to his amazement. There are two accounts as to what happened next. According to one account, having exhausted all methods of cleaning the blood stains, and not knowing what to do next, Father Fokert along with Father Volper Chult visited the Bishop of Utrecht with the chasuble, and explained the mysterious phenomenon. The Bishop conducted multiple canonical investigations. Three years later, in 1433, after formal ecclesial procedures, he recognized the legitimacy of the miracle, and officially granted approval to the devotion surrounding the miracle. Another account mentions that the chasuble was lost or forgotten. Years later, in 1430, a ship was trapped in a fierce storm off the coast of Holland and was in danger of sinking. The captain pleaded the intercession of Mary, after which an angel appeared before him, holding the chasuble with three drops of blood. The angel promised the safety of his ship if the sailors would devote themselves to the holy blood of Alkmaar. He sailed to Alkmaar, and told the pastor of St. Lawrence Church of the Chasuble. The garment was retrieved in perfect condition. It was presented to the Bishop of Utrecht, who after analyses and investigations, pronounced it a Eucharistic miracle in 1433. The bishop granted permission to the citizens of Alkmaar to hold celebrations with processions in honor of the Holy Blood. According to a pious tradition, Father Fokert later joined the Order of Carthusians, to pursue a life of penance. During the Protestant Reformation, the public veneration of the Holy Blood disappeared. It was revived at the end of the 19th century. A reliquary in the shape of an angel was designed to preserve the relic of the chasuble, and is housed in the Cathedral of St. Lawrence in Verdronkenurd, Alkmaar. It has been 500 years, and the precious blood of our Lord is still venerated by faithful Catholics to this day. Let us pray that the Eucharistic Lord may inspire us to love the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. Long live Christ the King! If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. I encourage you to donate so that I can make more of these videos. God bless.